What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, the car is looking a little rough because, you know, middle of the winter, uh, you guys probably saw that cracked front splitter or the, uh, the, the front uh, lip there. But uh, inside the engine bay, we are looking good. Uh, a couple weeks ago, installed the Perrin strut bar, which uh, looks awesome. And uh, we are continuing the trend of getting this car ready for the track in this video today. So uh, what we're going to be installing is another part from Perrin. So let me break that out and show you guys what that is. All right, so we got two small things today. Well, one large thing, one, one small thing. And they're both in this box. So I did get this used. Um, so Hunter, if you're watching this, shout out to Hunter. Uh, he's a local guy, he just sold the Subi and he was parting out. But we have this really, really nice shape. Um, this is the Perrin uh, brake master cylinder brace. Um, on these cars, what's really good to know is that the, um, the brake master cylinder actually has two purposes. Um, the fluid in there is used obviously for the brake lines, but also um, it is the same reservoir and the same fluid that your clutch uses. So what this brace is gonna do, is gonna mount onto the front of the brake master cylinder there, and it's gonna stop it from flexing back and forth when you're either really hard on braking or doing a really hard uh, shift, especially with a upgraded clutch. You know, there's a lot more forces affecting um, the, uh, the master cylinder there. So we're gonna be installing the brace here. The second piece, we got the parent reservoir cover. Just to make it a little prettier in the, uh, in the engine bay, I figure while I'm in there, I might as well do that, so. Um, first thing we're going to do is um, we're actually going to um, get this installed as much as we can. There are four bolts and again, Hunter, thank you so much for keeping these in really good shape um, and keep making sure all the hardware came with it. So um, we're going to be installing this as much as we can um, and then essentially we want to lift the car because there's one final bolt that needs to come in from the back of the fender well down there. So um, let's do that and uh, give you guys a little closer view, get some better light in there. So this is going to be pretty hard to film just because it's an awkward angle and I could remove this charge pipe here, but I really don't feel like it. So um, here are the holes that we're talking about that we're gonna be mounting to. Um, there are two pre-threaded holes right there. And then there's one hole above, right where my finger is pointed there, that we need to put the bolt through from the inside. Um, so there's one, two, three on the bottom, I think. So these two, and then one down there that we're gonna be mounting to. It's just a couple Allen head bolts, and then the one that goes through from the other side. So um, let me see if I can get a camera angle that actually works, but uh, it might be awkward. So I realized after I started that, that it's a, a very awkward angle, but there is the pair and brace. I have one bolt in, kind of awkward, but we got one bolt in in the back and uh, you kind of have to come underneath the uh, master cylinder there with the, uh, the Allen key or Allen wrench. So um, yeah, I'm gonna try to find a different angle so you guys can see this, but uh, I'll just kind of have to have to show you once it's done. That is how it's gonna line up. So you guys can see that. Let's try to get it in focus, such an awkward angle. But yeah, so this is how it's gonna sit. Um, that hole you see in the top right, that's where it's gonna be bolted in from the other side. So the other three are just gonna line up perfectly and we're just gonna put those in. But uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like in a second here. So a quick update. Um, in order to get some of those bolts in, you have to go where my hand is to go down underneath the master cylinder and you can't really see what you're doing. So what I did was I laid down 
across here and tucked my head where the top mount intercooler is. So if you guys have a top mount intercooler, I would highly suggest removing it temporarily because it's gonna allow you to actually see what you're doing and actually get your hands down in there. Um, that being said, um, just a couple order of operations. I did the three main bolts into the frame first. And I, I'm keeping this set screw loose and not touching the master cylinder because we want to torque down or tighten all of the bolts that mount the brace to the frame. And then once those are in place, we do this, this last. So um, let's lift the corner of the car so we can take the wheel off and get the bolt in back through the firewall from the other side into there. All right, so just to show you guys what we're working with here, that hole right there is where that bolt is gonna be going. So um, with my suspension raised up right now, I actually don't have to take the wheel off. I can kind of just reach in here, but for everyone else doing this, uh, if, you, if you are lowered or on stock suspension, um, you probably, it's just gonna be easier to take the entire wheel off. So um, that's the hole. You can tell because you can actually see the bits of the threads from the brace on the other side. So hopefully it's lined up perfectly and it does look like it is to get that bolt in there and uh, to uh, tighten that down. So I'll try to get a good angle and so you guys can actually see this. So the, the bolt head on this one is a uh, six millimeter Allen and I am using blue Loctite on all of these. So let's see, this will thread in and it feels like it is, that's perfect. Oh wow, that's actually really nice. And these are all relatively small bolts. Um, Perrin does supply the exact torque spec, but I don't really have any tools to torque uh, hex heads uh, yet. Um, maybe in the future I'll buy a kit for that, but uh, honestly, just don't overdo it, use your, use your head. Um, if you can do it with an Allen key by hand, it's probably not over torqued, but still, you don't wanna round off the head of the bolt or over strip the thread. So um, trust, the, uh, trust your, your hands and don't overdo it. So because we're going into you know pretty strong metal, you'll find the end of the resistance of the bolt. So uh, once you hit that, don't go try to go past it because you'll, you'll, uh, you'll snap something. So that's done. Uh, I'm going to lower the car back down and then uh, tighten up that last large bolt that uh, actually presses against the front of this master cylinder. So the last little bit we have to do here is tighten down this main bolt. And the key for this is that the nut is for locking in place. So we're going to tighten this by hand. And then they say you do a half turn from here. So um, that's by hand. We're making sure this is not you know, contacting anything, it's still loose. So that's tight by hand. I'm gonna take our, I think this is a six. So that's an eighth turn. So just looking at this, um, it definitely feels like it's braced against there. Pretty tight. That master cylinder is not going anywhere. And we'll do one little good one just for, whoop, there goes the flashlight. One more, just for good measure. All right. Now that that's done, I think it's focus. All I have to do is tighten this down while holding that bolt with the, uh, the six millimeter. So let me set up the camera. So we're taking a 19 wrench, six millimeter bolt. I'm just gonna hold, use this one to hold the, uh, the threaded uh, bolt in place. And then we're just using this guy to tighten it down. And I'm gonna have to use the offset angle, so.
That's all we need. That's it. Is this install easy? Yes, but um, it's very tricky because of how hard it is to get your hands into the spots that you need. So overall, I say this is maybe a four out of 10 difficulty. Um, one hard part, just like the strut bar, like I said in the other video, the hardest part, or one of the hardest parts is not dropping the bolts down into losing them in the engine bay. So you have to be very careful with your hands. Um, and then it's just really awkward going under there and turning with the Allen key, but um, it's very, very straightforward. Um, I think anyone can do this if you just give it enough time and they have a little bit of patience and wrist flexibility. So um, yeah, last little thing I have to do is I wanna put that uh, reservoir cover koozie foam thing i'll put that on there it just looks nice and uh it's supposed to help if if there are any you know off gassing if the cap comes off it'll help you know absorb any of that uh aerated uh um brake fluid so yeah let's get that on there and then i'll show you guys how everything looks together All right, so there it goes. I decided to just spin it, put the parent logo to the side. I think it looks a little nicer. There she is, there's the finished product. And again, this is gonna be one of those mods that uh, gets tucked away behind a bunch of stuff. You don't get to see it often, but. Whew, I think overall it's really gonna help uh, how the car feels. Um, making sure that that brake cylinder stays in place nice and solid um, and that the brake feel is going to be super consistent. The clutch is going to be a little bit stronger, a little bit snappier. So um, all those things combined, this is again one of those little things that uh, is going to help in the long run with uh, getting towards the goal of having a, a really nice car that performs well on the track. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not, please hit that subscribe button. Um, like 80% of you guys that watch our videos don't actually hit the subscribe button. You guys just watch and then kind of keep watching. So um, every subscriber number counts. So um, it really helps us out. Please go down and do that. So we got tons of more content coming. This car is going to be going to the track. Um, a couple other cool things for this car. And then also Kyle has a really cool surprise coming up for you guys very soon. So um, on his end. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you next week. Peace.